hey what's up guys if you want free coaching um please let me know uh in the description there's my twitter and discord so yeah um dm me on either of those and we can schedule a session um anyway yeah. free coaching that's all um yeah anyway let's get into the deck today i'm bringing you guys talia ziggs um this is more of an aggro variant so we are not running stuff like the arsenal because i think turn eight is too late turn eight is too late to be killing your opponent um so that this is like a slightly different variant um than normal and yeah um we notice you can substitute in this for ancient prep or some or preservarium or something i think but um yeah i decided to take this out because sometimes it, it like clogged my board space and having to manually destroy it wasn't like i didn't like that so um because sometimes like in, in like a lot of matchups the stun's not even really that useful now you can already cannon they're gonna attack you with like 10 units and Ari's not even the strongest unit so it's not even gonna be stunning the Ari. anyway um yeah we have triple ancient prep to predict predicting to me is pretty strong because you can choose like what you need in this deck because um all these are combo pieces like in this devout with uh desert naturalist combos really well um, Waste Walker with some of the other landmarks like Unravel Earth comes really well. Yeah, um, pretty good. Um, also, it's a countdown to you, so you level up Ziggs, you level up Sidley really easily. And um, yeah, next we have One Drop Chemist. I think it's an auto three of in every Battle City landmark deck, um, and also in every aggro deck in Battle City. So yeah, um, po Triple Pokey. I think this card is just really good. Um, it's extra damage. It's an extra gas. And yeah, um, we have three card poppies of Preservarium just for extra gas, as well as to level up Six into Leah, Rock Hopper to level up Six into Leah, as well as the Landmark's actually really good, the Vulnerable. Um, we're also running Unraveled Earth, which gives the same Landmark but two of them, and it gives you extra gas as well. Um, Absolver, this is the finisher. Um, we have one Herald Mag of Magus and the Absolver to give your champs um, overwhelm. And you usually only need one of these to win the game, so yeah. Triple endless step out. Um, when this dies, it makes a sarcophagus, which creates a 5 3 fearsome, which is really cool. It's especially useful because um, this countdown effect procs when it's destroyed, so it's really good with Unleash Energy as well as Desert Naturalist. Um, Unleash Energy is really good in this deck because it's oftentimes just a plus 4, plus 2, and you just destroy one of your landmarks that you don't really need. Um, yeah. Talking about this, Waste Walker. Um, a lot of people aren't running this surprisingly. I really like it in the deck because it just puts a lot of pressure. Like this can uh, like become a five five or a six six really fast, and yeah, it it just it just puts a lot of pressure for a three mana card. Um, the overwhelm keyword is really nice here. Ziggs, um, again one of your main finishers. Um, Ziggs basically levels up and does a bunch of burn damage whenever an a landmark is destroyed. He does 2 damage to the Nexus and when he attacks he also does 2 damage to his blocker and the Nexus when he levels up. Before that he just deals 1 but usually you can level him up pretty easily in this deck as you know it's built around him. So yeah I would hope so. Um, yeah this is mainly used um, in combination with this um, with this so you summon a rock bear as well as get your 5 3 fearsome out and when it is used that way it's broken um but when it isn't uh you can still use it on like the unraveled earth or the ancient preps and stuff and you'll be fine the rock bear is still good it levels up ziggs yeah really nice uh herald of magus um again uh, this is just an alternate win con to absolver and to leah is really good with absolver uh, and um overwhelm because um she, if you don't know when she levels up, uh, she does two, three times, so basically six damage, and she does like the the extra ones to to the nexus. So if she uses two, then and the block is dead, the four damage goes to the nexus, and then usually she can't attack after. But like Lee Sen with Overwhelm, the block is not there anymore, so boom, that does you know big damage to the face, and she levels up really easily, of course, in this deck because. I mean, this deck's built around Ziggs and Talia, so I would hope they um I would hope they level up like quite easily, right? Anyway, um yeah, this explanation was pretty fast. Uh, Mulligan wise, um, ancient prep 
or chemist, you usually keep at least one of these in your opening hand if you have both. Um, just keep one, you don't have to keep both. Um, this if you want to play faster, this if you want to play slower. Um, pokey stick, keep if there's like oh, one health units you have to get rid of. Rock hopper, I would usually just keep. Uh, this I would usually keep. Uh, Preservarium, keep in slower matchups. Do not keep that in fast matchups. Um, yeah, so if you need the extra card draw, just keep it. And this if if you feel like you need the removal for something like a poppy, for example. Uh, poppy's a pretty good example, but not really played that much. Uh, against an Ari, I mean, they're probably going to recall or twin the Ari, but I mean, you, could, you can try to remove it, I guess. Um, and I would probably keep Ziggs, never really keep Talia. But you can keep one Ziggs if you want. His spell um, actually comes to useful quite a bit. Um, you'd be surprised. <laughs> See, the spell sucks. But um, yeah. Anyways, that was the guide. Um, deck goes down below. Um, yeah. Uh, after today, by the way, I will be streaming my climb tomorrow um, on my Twitch channel. And I'll be like making less of these videos. Because, yeah, I just want to try to climb and not sack my OP for Masters. Um, actually, real quick, I'm just going to check. Uh, cutoff is, what, it's two weeks from now? Yeah, I do want to climb then, um, tomorrow. So it's gonna, I'm going to climb at 9pm HST. And, yeah, it's going to be on Tishra.tv slash scissorsbox. The first O is a zero. And, um, yeah, hopefully... I can see some of you guys there. Um, yeah, because I just want to qualify for super seasonals, get that over with. Um, yeah, anyways, thank you for watching the guide. Let's get into the game. Uh, Alright, so up against Go Hard, it looks like. Looks like Go Hard. I don't think we need this much. Um, Rock Copper consideration to ditch but I mean just giving us the landmark is kind of nice uh, I think this is the mulligan <clears throat> I don't think we need more than one copy of that mm. I'm just gonna preserve I feel like rock hopper just gets Killed. With Go Heart, this. Hmm. Probably gonna play you. Yeah. We can also play Rock Hopper. Decent blocker, but Go Heart is also a factor. <coughs> so yeah, I will end up playing the Devout here. Yeah, this looks like fake Go Hard. It looks like an aggro deck. And we're gonna block this. Hmm, if this is aggro, Reservarium was a really bad play. Play you. And then we'll play the Ancient Prep. Or Pokey. I'm always up for a round or two. Blue. Blue as the Serpentine. Mm, I do don't I don't mind a desert naturalist here. Um yeah, just getting us the the, the rock bear is like really nice. Mm. Okay. Mm. So I wanted to use it on this landmark, but we can use it on this, that's fine too. Also play you. You're, just get, get, you're gonna get big, but like, I'd rather just have the blockers. I think it's better. Chum is interesting though. Yeah, this just looks like fake go hard. I'm not a fan of these fake decks, but I mean they exist. Hmm, probably block it you. And this deck might still be able to level TF, so gotta watch out. Yeah. 
Hmm. Can waste walker. Stack in the eyes. Waste walker into like unleash energy is kind of disgusting. Also Ziggs. Um, Ziggs will level. Which one do I want to do? Probably you. You leveled Ziggs is kind of disgusting, but I don't really have enough for a resolver. So, we'll just play you with this. And give it to you. The overall units. But yeah, this is like pretty disgusting. Yeah, that's why I waste walkers in this deck. Oh, I'm gonna mute so I can sneeze. Okay. Mm, now we're on the front end. But yeah, he could be running just like unto dust. Yeah, yeah. This is definitely like some weird burn. Hmm. Could play the Ziggs here. Hmm. I will play the Ziggs. I think. It looks like the TF is gonna level. Just fine. I just can't wait. Here we go! I kind of want him to just kill my rock bear with the TF. Because then I could play uh, rock hopper. Yeah, another landmark. <laughs> oh. Got him. Uh, we do have the bouncing bomb to try it, kill it. No. I'm gonna go for it. Because I do not want to just let him have this. Okay, so it dies. He gets a blue card. Eyes open. <laughs> but, I mean, I'm pretty sure he would now. Like, our open is too devastating. It's dead. <clears throat> if he dies, then cool. Cause I don't know what he can have. Yeah. All right. Um. Yeah. That was a good game one. We got picked out of our mulligan, but yeah, good. Uh. All right. Um. <clears throat> we're against Kindred Beagle Control. So. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to like rush him down. As hard as we try. Not really good. Uh, this does threaten the kindred. It's quite nice. I will keep the waste walker as well. The reason I didn't keep the unraveled is because he can play soldier, which is which just gives like an ephemeral, right? And if you don't want to give the ephemerals vulnerable, it's kind of useless. But yeah. Do you press your bargain here? Mm. Yeah, sure. It is like a control deck, so. Then I have to. Have to use this. Make sure I don't lose that on card advantage. If he attacks, we have to block so it doesn't get multiple discounts. Interesting. Um, I always play Waste Walker here, I think. Um. It just gets really big, and I don't want to trade, so I don't want to trade this waste walker. I'm just gonna pass. It is a win con. Just getting this really big, really big waste walker. Uh, we're gonna devout here. Hmm. 
Just kill this or monogem, not worth it. Simo, really? Kendrick can attack here. It's it's really like tough for him to get an attack down. <coughs> okay. Yeah, this is good because I just want to kill the Kindred right now. Mm, I'll skip this because Desert Naturalist, we don't really have the landmark support. Could use it on this. Yeah, it, it was probably Naturalist. But I like to skip better. Submission or death for all who leave. This might get it in. Get him. Yeah. Here. Sound the alarm. Could have done this first and then gotten the extra one damage, but it doesn't matter too much, honestly. Hmm. <laughs> we do have decent blockers, honestly. But I'll just pay another devout. And then Preservarium, probably. Mm. Mm, he's just going for the Vega level up. So we do have to do something about it. Probably. Mm. Damn, our board space is like really, really awkward. There's a naturalist. <clears throat> Level one. I have to sign these, I think. My board space. Oh, my board space. Another day, another explosion. Uh. Oh. That sucks. Uh, I I probably misplayed this game, but like, honestly, it's just really hard. Yeah, open attack release, whatever. Yeah, this game was not well played by me. Sorry, guys. I should, I should, I should give you better game quality. Okay, Kenny Ari, best deck. <sighs> keep the chemist. Keep the waste walker. Maybe I should stop keeping Waste Walker. Never get like the landmarks. So I need to like mulligan more for my landmarks. I think. Mm. 
No, no, it's debatable. Take the two. Hmm. Well, we're getting the payoff now. Um, I think we just have to try some more. <laughs> Go hard. Uh huh. Pass, mark. Okay, I'll just play this, whatever. Doesn't really change the mark. Um. I might have a go hard. That's fine, everyone says allegiance odds. A little bit. Let's just play you. Put some pressure on down. Ready. Mm hmm. Recall. Probably recall or twin <clears throat> or retreat. Let me see your technique. Uh. Yeah, retreat. Sure. This card's really strong into Kenanari. But, okay. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just gonna make this guy big. If I can. Uh, if he plays... Whoa. Yeah, I think... I do have to try aggro him. <clears throat> but him skipping attack is fine with me, honestly. Um, start with this. On these energies, good. Um, you. Can somebody say explosives? Uh, what does he do here? That's a good question. <laughs> you have much to learn. Mm, homecoming. <laughs> I can't wait to see what this one does. <laughs> I have studied every fighting manual. Sure. Um, I think I'm gonna bouncing bomb when he plays like a drop it or something. <laughs> Oh, we could start with Pokey Stick. Or we start with Bouncing Bomb and then go into Pokey Stick, I think. Or we Pokey Stick now, but. Just to try interrupt the recall. But of course, he has an answer. That's why, wouldn't he? <clears throat> okay, well, Waste Walker. Mm, he's gonna attempt just to kill this Ziggs. He'll succeed. Because I'm not going to Bouncing Bomb anymore, I'm just literally going to play another Zig. Oh my god. I mean, this is quite annoying. This is Tempest. Oh, he's killing my waste walker. Um, honestly, I'm fine with it. <laughs> he has two cards in hand. We have Ziggs on board. We could give Ziggs overrump soon. This is a good draw. Would you look at this place? I'm just gonna swing. Twin. Oh, lightning rush. 
I'm actually gonna do this. It's just, this just puts a lot of pressure. One for you and one for you. Yeah, cause now Ziggs could even burn him. Okay, that's fine. Honestly, playing this just to give the plus two plus two. Oh no. Now I hunt. If he kinkus and we get Ari OTK, then the hunt is I mean that sucks. Uh, we just stuck an Ari actually. We just stuck an Ari. We can't start an Ari anymore. That is so lame, man. We have blockers. The great Vegas leads us to glory. So many places to hide. I mean, he can't kill us, right? He's too off from pack. Hmm. Mm. Okay, why? Oh, so his Ari doesn't die? I'm gonna catch in this then. Bombs away! Do I just like win off Ziggs next turn? My board. <sighs> we'll see. Lost, are you? Ah, okay. That's a okay with me. We can play you. This will be a blast. Predict. Okay, we win. Good games, dude. I don't think this matters that much, but sure. Preservarium. Woo. All right, so now we threaten lethal without even having to pokey stick. And bouncing bomb. I mean, that is the Ari. Uh, okay, we be one of the best decks in the game. Uh, I was not expecting this. Honored spirit, I will keep you safe. Hmm. Yeah, I'm still gonna threaten this Ari. I think. As I mean. Ari is his win con. There's a twin. Which means he can't twin the Ari for a attack. That is really good. Honored spirit, I will keep you safe. Okay, we won, right? Unless he has like drop it, drop it, something. Yeah, if he has drop it, drop it, mourned or something. Wait, Mars not even running this version, I'm pretty sure. So it's like only droplets. Hmm. There's a cannon. I'm not really afraid of. Time if you're wondering why I'm holding this, I was waiting till he was out of mana. Right? I could just... And plus, we threaten lethal if he ends turn, so. Yeah. Oh, hard games today. Alright. 
That is all. Alright everyone, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Um, if you made it this far, by the way, thank you for all the support. We're at 55 subs. And yeah, I can't thank you guys enough. I, I'm sorry I'm like really monster right now, but um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just kind of tired. It's like really late. So, sorry. Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. See ya.